Hello everybody, Adam from Alpha Chain here. I hope you're all well. Today we're going to talk about part two of developing our automated moving average strategy. So in part one, we developed our back test. We coded the logic for how we wanted to trade. We ran the back test and looked at the performance metrics. Now in part two, we're going to develop the signals to forward test that strategy, which will alert us when our trading conditions are met in our strategy in the given markets we've chosen. So let's get started. So setting signals is a great way for you to manage your trading system. The system will monitor the market in trading view at all times and send you alerts whenever your trading conditions are met. So this could be across numerous different markets that you're looking to trade in with that same strategy. Um, there's no need to stare at the screens for all day long across multiple different asset classes. You'll be alerted when those trading conditions are met via text message or email, um, which tells you you can then go into the market and execute that order um, according to your strategy or trade plan. So as mentioned on the on screen, you can see you can get your alerts via text message or email whenever that system identifies a trade which must be executed. So underneath here is just an example of, of what will come up in your email and you can choose what you want this to say. So you can choose the message that you want to come up in your alert, whether that's in email or text. So it's a fairly simple process because you guys have done most of the hard work in part one by defining the logic on how to trade. So we're going to copy a lot of that logic over into a new type of Pine script called a study. So before when we ran a back test, we were running it in a version of Pine, which defines it as a strategy. And this time we're going to develop a study where which will be a way that we can develop our alerts which we will trade on once we've defined the study and coded it in we'll apply it to the chart onto the asset that we choose to trade and then we'll have to initialize those alerts one by one just so we ensure that they're active so let's start coding that in onto the same chart we had previously so this is our Ethereum EMA strategy. When price exceeds the EMA, we go long. When price falls below the EMA, we go short. Very simple moving average strategy. So let's open up our Pine editor. It's currently blank. So let's open a new, and we want an indicator script. So as I mentioned before, the previous one we built was a strategy, which is what you use to do your back testing. This time we're going to develop a indicator script which is also known as a study so here you can see the study and here's the current name by default with my script so just to ensure that we're moving at a good pace i'm going to be copying and pasting things over which you can just follow along with so here's the study we're initiating the study which is our alerts we're naming it ema tutorial alerts overlay is true okay that's how you initialize your alert code like before in our back test, we then want to dictate the resolution that we want to use. So we're trading on the daily time frame. Uh, as you can see up here, we're on the daily, the one daily. So we want to ensure that every time we apply this to the chart, that it, the default value is D for daily. Okay, so we did this in our back test before. Now we need to feed in the price condition into the code so that the code can follow the price and we'll be looking to follow the close of the current price on our chart. So price equals the close, and close equals the close of the current asset that we have open, uh, as is dictated by symbol just below. Okay, so now we can feed in the price just as we did in our backtest before. So again, this stuff you can just copy and paste over from your backtest. Now we're gonna copy over our indicator, which is our EMA. So just like before, we're defining as a 20 period EMA, default value is 20, and we initialize an EMA based on the close, and it's a 20 period EMA. Good, so all that's exactly the same that we've had so far in our back test. And then we have to also put in the signals like we did before. So when do we want alerts to happen? Just like when we wanted the trades to happen, we want to now be alerted at those same times. So we want the long signal, to happen when the price exceeds the 20 day EMA and we want the short signal when the price is under the 20 day EMA. Now the last part is slightly different. So with our back test, what we did here is where we'd initialize our trades. So we tell the code 
Okay, when these conditions are met, we would like to enter a long or enter a short. Let's make this a bit longer. But now we don't want that. Instead of actually executing a trade in the back test, we want to be alerted at those conditions. So we're going to make, make alert conditions. Here they are. So we initialize them with alert condition. We define the condition, which is long signal. So long signal is up here, price exceeding EMA. We would like to be alerted. We'll name that alert long ether signal. And we want the message to be the same, long ether signal. You can have this to be whatever you want, obviously. And again, the same for the short. So same thing, alert condition. The condition is short signal, which is when price is less than EMA1. Again, the title and the same message. Now, that's pretty much it. Now we've just developed our study or our alert conditions based on the back test we did in part one. Now, what you might want to do is just add on your EMA onto the chart. Um, I think it's always good to have that indicator on the chart when if you apply the study to the chart. So you can easily see if these indicators are working correctly based on where your um, indicators are on screen. So now we've finished it. We've developed our indicator our study and now we need to apply it to the chart before we do that we want to ensure that we're saving it so we're going to save this call it EMA alerts and we have a little error here line 15 so let's go to line 15 and we can see there's this thing we put pasted over by accident so if you've got one forward slash like that it's going to produce an error if you want to mute out whatever you've written, you need to double, double forward slash, and that mutes it out. So now if we save it, great, it's been saved. Now let's apply it to the chart. So we move over to the top right and click Apply Add to Chart. Make sure the time frame is correct. Good, it does the one day by default, as we defined over here. Apply. So now we can see up here, it's been applied to the chart. EMA tutorial alerts as we called it. Now we need to initialize those alerts. Click on the three dots to the right, add alert on EMA tutorial alerts. And now we have our long and ether signal which we defined in our code. So if we pull this open, scroll down, we named it long signal, long ether signal, that's what we named it. And here it is. And we also have the short just below it. So click long ether signal, now you have several options here. Now, it's important that you understand how TradingView works. So when you're back testing your strategy and you're wait waiting for a condition to be true, you'll enter on the next bar at the open of the next bar after that condition has been true. So to ensure that we are forward testing the same way we back tested, we want to ensure that we always click once per bar close. That's important. Otherwise you're gonna get lots of signals, probably false signals and it wasn't really how you back tested your strategy. So you want to ensure you're trading your forward test the same way you executed your back, back test. And then we've got a few options on how you can be alerted. So you can get sent an email, sent, get sent an SMS, and the message you can type in that you want to, to show up when you get your alert. So long ether signal, um, EMA strat, for example. And then you click create. Small warning there, don't worry about that, that's fine. Now you've initiated your alert. Now you can check by going over to here and it should show up at the top. Here we go, we've got the long ether signal, AMA strat, great. So we know that's initiated. Now we also need to do the short. So go back there, click on the short ether signal, once per bar close, make sure all your alert conditions um, methods are made, EMA extract and create good and now you've initiated your long and short alerts based on the back test that you executed in part one fairly simple process as most of the hard work is done in part one which is the logic and why and how we should trade and when and now we're just executing those alerts so now that's all initiated in your chart as you start trading uh, so as time goes on, you'll then start to get those alerts when those conditions are true. When you get alerted, you can then go into your trading platform and execute your strategy as you wish. So that's it, guys. Very simple strategy. Now you've learned how to backtest them. 
uh, look at your performance metrics, and then how to forward test them in real time with alerts. Now try that out yourself. Try to write a very simple backtest strategy, whether it's the same one that I've showed you here or a new one, and try to set alerts to see how they work in real time. Um, it will save you a lot of time if you are able to code some of the strategy in yourself. Uh, a great way to develop some simple coding skills as well. Good luck with it, guys. I hope it goes well. If you have any questions, do let me know. Um, and I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks for your time.